Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Kelly Rexrode, Alabama 4 H Foundation Regional Extension Agent for Escambia County. I hope you and your family would join us this week in the kitchen for some 4 H Kids Cooking. Our Southwest Region 4 H agents will be bringing you some kitchen safety and food safety skills while guiding you through some recipes this week. Hopefully, you can do them on your own, but you might need a little help from your parents. We'll be starting out on Monday with Wendy Padgett from Clark County as she goes over some important food safety tips and teaches us how to make some fun and easy symmetry snacks. On Tuesday, we have Stacy Ferguson from Washington County teaching us some stovetop safety while helping us make some ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwiches. Join us on Wednesday as Sarah Budworth from Baldwin County will be showing us how to sizzle up some savory, fast and easy fried rice. On Thursday, Mobile County's Adeline Quintana will be whipping up her berrylicious blackberry cobbler and telling you about how you can take her recipe and make it your own. On Friday morning at 9 a.m., we want you to join us for a virtual ice cream party. Why don't you warm up some of that cobbler from the day before, top it off with a scoop of your favorite ice cream. First of all, before we get ready for that, there's some things we need to do here in the kitchen for you to get ready. Go ahead and clean off your kitchen countertop so that you have some space to work. It's also good, it gives you space to move around the kitchen a little bit, but also is great for laying out all of your ingredients to make sure you have everything you need for that recipe. Now that you have a clean countertop to work with, why don't you try to find some of the supplies that we might need this week. First of all, I'd suggest finding some measuring bowls, some small, medium, large measuring bowls. Find some measuring spoons and measuring scoops for dry goods. And then find some measuring cups for some liquids. Now you might need other utensils or other tools for each of the recipes. So look through the recipes or the ingredient list in the comments section and see what you might need. We tried to make it so that most of the things would be already at home available to you. Uh, some of the recipes are pretty flexible so you can add to or take away things you don't like or maybe not don't have on hand. Uh, if you need to make a trip to the store, do so safely. But don't, if you are going to the store, don't forget to get your favorite ice cream for Friday morning for that Zoom meeting at 9 a.m. 